Hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day today. I know I am because you're here and we get to play in the nail room. So let's get started. First up, what's on my hands? It is Cameo Colors, Princess of Power. It's a beautiful nude with a pink shimmer and lots of glitter. Sorry, it's a PPU color. I am going to be working with the Nail Couture today. Good luck. Eternal Beige. And it is kind of a pain in the butt, if you ask me. It just doesn't move the way that I'm used to acrylic moving. It just sits wherever you put it and you have to push it and pat it and pull it and you can't you have to push it around. You cannot drag it. It won't drag. And it just doesn't seem to... The more... The more beads you put on, they show. I mean, I don't... I'm not exactly perfect at getting the powder to liquid ratio exactly the same every time. And it shows. It... I mean, every single bead showed up on there when I was filing. It was horrific. But when I put it on the nails, on my nails, it you couldn't tell at all. So I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of on the fence on this one. But for my pointer, my middle finger, and my ring finger, I'm doing a... V type French and for the thumb you'll see here I'm doing kind of a side swoosh and those are all going to be French type manicure figures. You saw at the beginning that this one is called Eternal Beige. It was part of the trial kit that I got from Enel Couture. Yes I bought it. Nobody knows I exist. <laughs> so I buy everything that I use on this channel. Um, I got, like I said, I got the trial kit. It came with the monomer that I showed you as well as the Eternal Beige powder, a clear powder and a white powder. So I just thought I would try it out. I bought a couple of colors as well to try, so I'll be trying those later on. Sorry, I'm out of shot. There you go, Lori. Get back in there. Good job. The thumb seemed to take about a million and two different, <laughs> different beads. What do you do? Just keep on trucking. But yeah, as you can see, the pushing worked, works a lot better than trying to drag it or brush it down. It just doesn't work for the brushing. Like I said, I'm just not used to this product. And if you're going to get used to something, you have to keep working with it. So by the time that the trial kit is gone, I should be able to tell you whether or not I'm ever going to purchase it again. But I will probably continue trying to work with it until then. So... go with that little side swoosh. It ended up a little lumpy and bumpy, but hopefully you'll give me a break considering the fact that I was doing this at three o'clock in the morning. His life was kind of crazy at this point in time. I wore these for my mother-in-law's funeral, and that's why the title is Funeral Nails. And for her, so, that, I mean, this set was dedicated to her, for her, and, you know, for her, she's the reason that I actually started this YouTube channel. I've been thinking about it for a couple of years now, and when she got sick with cancer is when I finally just said, screw it, life's short, let's get it done. 
let's just do it. Something that I've wanted to do for a long time and she fought for the little time that she had left and I, the least I could do is do something with the time that I have on this earth. So I might as well do something that I've always wanted to do. So there you go. That's why I have started this channel and that's why, you know, that's why I'm here now. So we're taking Nails Perfect Black, Pure Black from Nail Nails. And FYI, the E-Nail Couture Monomer works pretty well with Nail Nails colors. I have actually been trying to find a good monomer for Nail Nails because I am allergic to their monomer. This is the ring finger and it's going to be a pure just all pure black but the reason that I am allergic to their monomer is completely my fault because I when I started learning or teaching myself how to do acrylic nails I used their monomer and I used way too much of it got it all over my skin and made a mess a lot <laughs> and that's how you get allergic is you just get it all over your skin way too much so it does happen <laughs> so here they are all filed and buffed now this is a really old plate that I've had for quite a while I don't know the brand of it I don't think you can buy it anymore but it's H is the only letter on it and it's just a whole bunch of swirls like this one and what I'm going to do is I am taking a pearl white from Twinkle Tea and I am just kind of going up the sides and along the V's and now right here I have a little bit of acetone on my brush and I'm getting rid of that end there so that I can put another one on and have it look like it was connected so you can do that too. You know, if you ever thought about adding a little bit more or if something's a little bit shorter, definitely take a little piece off of it and make it look like it's all united, all one chunk. There you go. Pretty, pretty. And when I'm done with all the stamping, I'm gonna add some gems. Pink was her favorite color. So we're just going to add some pink smoky gems and some beads. Why do I always have problems with these? Caviar beads. That's the word. <laughs> I'm just kind of putting three on each end of that one big pink bead. Slowly but surely, just trying to kind of make it just get rid of that fourth one. Get out of there. <laughs> well, I was having a time, wasn't I? <laughs> this is what happens in the real world. There you go. I'll get rid of those other two. Add a few on this side. There we go. I did get rid of those other two up there, down there in the bottom. I'm just kind of adding a few gems here and there and everywhere. A few gems, a few caviar beads. There you go. And this was the final set. I'm sorry I forgot to take a picture of them on me, but I put them on so that they would come off really easy. So, and I got orange on that one. I'm not really sure what happened there. But 
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!